I am Dr. Shobha Bennett Matthew. I would like to speak about Henry Fiol's 14 principles of management. In 1960, Henry Fiol provided a list of 14 principles of management in his book titled Industrial and General Administration. Henry Fiol, 1841 to 1925 is regarded as the father of modern management. The first principle he explained was division of work. It means that work in an organization should be divided based on specialization. In most organizations, there are HR department, marketing department, finance and operations. This may increases and improves the efficiency of the organization. Second point, what I would like to discuss is authority and responsibility. There has to be a balance between authority and responsibility authority to give orders and the power to exact orders authority and responsibility should go hand in hand in most organization we would see that there is a security which is uh, who is having the authority to ask each and every person who enters the organization the identity card this is for security purposes because he is responsible for the security of the organization the next point is discipline discipline is extremely important uh, it has an impact in an organization. It involves obedience to authority, adherence to rules and regulations and dedication to one's job. The next principle what I am discussing is unity of command. There should be one superior who gives you orders so that there is no confusion. This will improve the efficiency of the organization. Next principle is unity of direction. All the employees of the organization should be directed towards one single goal. This will enable that the organization achieves its organizational objectives subordination of interest this principle of management means that the uh, organization interest is more important than individual interest hence everybody should be focusing towards achieving organizational uh, goals remuneration remuneration means paying salary wages to people on time and they should be paid fairly so that they do not leave the job and go centralization centralization means powers which is in at the top and decentralization means powers which is distributed now for example uh, centralization means all decisions taken from the top decentralization means the hod's or the uh, people who are subordinates are also given the power to take decisions there should be a proper balance between centralization and decentralization. Scalar chain. Scalar chain is nothing but it refers to the chain of authority that extends from the top to the bottom of an organization. The scalar chain defines the communication path in the organization. Order. This refers to both material and social order in an organization. Material order indicates that everything is kept in place to facilitate smooth coordination of work activities. Similarly, social order implies that the right person is placed in the right job. Equity. All employees should be treated with equality and respect. They should be fairly treated. A manager should treat all the employees in the same manner without any prejudice. Next is stability of uh, Next is stability of tenure. Stability of tenure means that the, there should be job security so that people do not leave the job and go. Initiative. All employees should take initiative, come out with new ideas there so that the organization benefits and the organization is able to achieve its objectives. The last point is team spirit. Teamwork here means that people should complement each other's weaknesses and work as a team in order to achieve organizational goals. Every individual is having some qualities and each and every person is important. Unless each and every person puts his entire energy into achieving organizational goals as a team, the organization will never achieve its 